Welcome to another episode of Veterans View right here in beautiful Phoenix City, Alabama. Today we will be talking to Judge David Johnson at Courtroom 2, uh, uh, talking about Veterans Court. Judge Johnson is our circuit judge here in Phoenix City, the second of two judges, and today we want to educate our veterans in our communities on our veteran court and that they can apply for. Judge, what you tell us about veteran court? Veterans Court is a diversionary court, a treatment court, specialty court. It goes by a lot of different names. But the main purpose of Veterans Court is to allow veterans who become involved in the justice system to have an outcome other than just jail or straight probation. Um, one of the cornerstones of the Veterans Court program is the mentoring program, which Leroy heads up. Uh, the Veterans Court program, if a, a soldier or a veteran uh, enters into the program, they have certain requirements they have to meet. Meeting with their mentor regularly is one of them, community service hours, treatment for whatever their issue may be, their yes, diagnosis mm -hmm. may be. And um, it's something that we've seen a lot of change, a lot of positive change in a lot of veterans' lives uh, through their involvement in the Veterans Court program. And, and the good thing about the Veterans Court is it's for male and female. Correct. It does not matter. And as Judge said, it's for treatment. The main purpose is that we get you into a treatment program because we're dealing with a lot of veterans who have been to combat two, three, four, even five deployments, and they have PTSD and other issues that's going on. So when they get in trouble, instead of a punishment or giving them jail time, we want to rehabilitate them, and we want to do that through uh, putting them in a treatment program, utilizing Tuskegee VA or uh, even uh, we do the uh, community as far as uh, community uh, care providers judge. Correct. And also something we want to stress and make sure everybody's aware of, it's not just reserved for combat veterans. It is for active duty and veterans who never actually saw combat. Um, if you've become involved in the criminal justice system in some way, uh, we want you to inquire about the program and, and we can talk to you and find out if it's something that you and your family can benefit from because what we've really seen is families benefit. Right. Because if a soldier or a veteran is, you, is dealing with those issues, it affects their entire family. So it's really helping the soldier, the soldier's family, and the community at large. And the community at large. And the good thing about it, it makes our community better because when they understand that what a veteran is going through and that he is trying to get treatment or she is trying to get treatment and rehabilitation, then the community feels better about it, knowing that their taxpayer dollars is going to help those men and women who have given it all to for their country. Yeah. So uh, uh, we talked, I believe we basically covered everything. And of course, I, I wanted to talk about the school that we went to, Judge. Oh, uh, yes. I didn't know. Uh, Montana. Billings, Montana. Billings, yeah. Montana. Uh, our entire drug court and uh, veterans court team went out to Billings, Montana, which is one of the, uh, the learning sites uh, where we do training for veterans court. Um, the prosecutor, the defense attorney involved, uh, our uh, veterans court administrator, who I think you all sp speak to, Ooh, yes. um, and uh, Leroy and I, we all went out there and observed their courts and learned how they do some things that work for us and some things that might not necessarily work for us. But by us attending that, uh, that school and that, that program, it makes us uh, more eligible for federal funding so that we can expand the program. Yeah. The main thing we're trying to do right now, though, is increase the numbers of people in the program by reaching out into the community, and that's part of what we're doing here today, is trying yes. to make people aware that active duty, retired, whatever it may be, if you've served, you have the right to apply, and we will help you determine whether or not it's the right program for you. Yes, sir. And as the judge said, it does not matter if you are going to court and you are a veteran, then ask about the Veterans Court program. Yep. So Never that, hurts to ask. So, and it may even, uh, well, we're going to get you in a treatment program because we owe that to you. So please, don't be afraid to ask for the help that you so honestly deserve. Okay? Thank you. They are the greatest fighting force the world has ever seen. What does it take to strengthen our service members? What does it take to let them know that we stand behind them, wherever they are? What does it take to bridge the distance, 
and keep them connected to family, home, and country? And what does it take to prepare them for their future when their service to the nation is complete? What does it take to strengthen our service members so they can be the greatest force for good in the world? It takes a force. Be a force behind the forces. Share a message today at force.uso.org. And, and we are here with uh, Tommy Powell. He's the coordinator for drug court as far as uh, urinalysis, uh, different uh, drug testing for veterans in our veterans court. And uh, I just gave a little bit of what Tommy does. So what we want to do today, Tommy, is for you to tell us what you role you play in veterans court. In Veterans Court, the main thing I do is I'm coordinator of Veterans Court. We make sure that the individuals, when they come into our Veterans Court, uh, are basically assessed, looking at treatment. We work with the Veterans Administration to make sure that we access the services because as veterans, they've earned those services. Mm -hmm. They've served our country mm -hmm. and we owe them that. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that they receive the treatment and the medical care that they need as a result mm -hmm. of that. We also work with them to make sure that they meet the requirements of 100 hours of community service while they're in the Veterans Court. Uh, we drug screen them on a regular basis, um, anywhere from three times a week up to, to once a week, to two, every two weeks, depending on what phase they're in. And then we also basically uh, move them toward uh, the, the graduation. It's a 12-month program, uh, and when they're th uh, through with the program, we hope that they will be uh, drug-free or substance-free and they will be on the right track and be back to being a productive citizen and having productive lives. That's our goal with our veterans. Right. And, and one of the things that we want the, the, the veterans out in our community to understand and also uh, the veterans to understand that this is a program that was specifically designed to help our veterans, not to hurt them, but at the same token while they are in this program they will be tested to make sure mm -hmm. that they're not utilizing drugs, they're not getting drunk and uh, just doing things they correct. shouldn't do, that they're actually going through the program the correct way. In other words, uh, my job as a, as a mentor is to mentor them and give them somebody to talk to, uh, another veteran to talk to, so they can feel open and free. Tommy, uh, do Different testing, so what, I mean, I know you do urinalysis, and everybody know what urinalysis are, mm -hmm. that you're testing for uh, drugs and uh, different things. We do, uh, we do a test, basically, it covers 14 different types of drugs. Okay. The 14 drugs is everything from marijuana, cocaine, uh, alcohol, as we mentioned that, uh, all the way through to, uh, to fentanyl and the uh, synthetic marijuana spice. Mm -hmm. We also have the ability, if uh, we need to, to send that to a lab and actually get a level, if you will, mm -hmm. of the drug that's in their system. Okay. So that kind of backs us up there. Mm -hmm. We also have the ability now to do skin patches, which basically test them using the sweat from their skin. Mm -hmm. It also, uh, we can do hair follicle tests, mm -hmm. where it will take a piece of their hair and you can go back 90 days and figure out what's been going on with their substance use in the last uh, you know, 90 days. So we do all of that. Okay, and the reason I wanted you to bring that out to is to make sure that everyone know that we are for real with Veterans Court and our uh, goal here is to rehabilitate the veteran and to reward them for the service that they have done for this nation, not to Correct. put them in jail. We want to help them because if we, while they were serving, and, uh, and you take a veteran that have did five deployments, well, we know he's got some issues uh, with some PTSD, many more likely. Of, many of them's gonna have PTSD, some have traumatic brain injuries. Exactly. Uh, so they're dealing with those issues, and we wanna make sure that they get not only the substance help, but we also wanna make sure that they get the mental, mental counseling and mental help. And like you say, they've earned those, serv that, those services as a result of serving our country, and they should be able to access those. So many times our veterans don't know how to access those right. services that the VA does offer right. them. And, and that's another purpose for this show is that when a veteran or your wife is looking at this program, your daughter or your granddaughter, that they know, hey, there's a veterans court. 
instead of going to regular court, why don't you go to veteran court mm -hmm. so you can get some treatment? And that's the whole goal is to get this message out in the community to our veterans, to our pastors, to our uh, community leaders to let your citizens know, to our commissioners, to let your citizens know, to our city council, that Veterans Court is available. Right. And uh, th is there anything else you'd like to cover? We just uh, want everybody to know that our veterans out there, veterans, family members, that we're here. We want, to, want them to be aware that we're here to help. We care what happens to our veterans. And we want to make sure that they're, they're helped in any way that we possibly can with the services, with medical care, with mental health counseling. And uh, yeah, that's what it's all about. And at the end, when you, when you come to graduation, you get a certificate for graduating from Veterans Court, and you get a surprise. Mm -hmm. So uh, w w tell me, you want to tell them about the surprise they get? They usually get a gift card when they finish up the Veterans Court. We try to give them a little monetary gift card just for them right. completing it and doing well. Right. So... Uh, veterans, if you have any questions, uh, all you have to do is call the Judicial Center and ask to speak to Tommy Powell, the coordinator for Veterans Court, or you can call me at 706-718-4440. And Tommy, why don't you give me your number so you can come on the bottom of the screen. All right, you can reach me at 334 214 9468. That's my office number. That's your office number. And you can get an application from me or Tommy mm -hmm. for Veterans Court. Thank you.